Ladies and gentlemen, the next-gen Nintendo Switch rumors continue to churn. So obviously when you compare the original Nintendo Switch, or even the quote-unquote new Nintendo Switch, which is essentially the same Nintendo Switch, to the PlayStation 4, Xbox One, or even in particular the PlayStation 4 Pro or the Xbox One X, the performance is pretty lackluster. I mean, the original N Nintendo Switch struggles to keep games like Mario Odyssey at native resolution 60 frames a second. So, of course, it's not that crazy to wonder when the PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X are going to likely be out early November, how does Nintendo intend on competing? Now, obviously, Nintendo doesn't directly compete raw power to raw power. They, they haven't really done that since since the GameCube. And the fact that the Nintendo Switch continues to just sell unbelievably well in the face of an upcoming new console generation and against the current console generation that it is underpowered when compared to, I don't think you have to have a Nintendo Switch that's going to be right there with the Xbox Series X, PlayStation 5. However, at this point, a bump in specs is probably going to be needed sooner than later. That brings us to a news article, which I'm reading from notebookcheck.net, which comes from Bloomberg. I will have this in the uh, description. Bloomberg analyst claims that the upcoming Nintendo Switch Pro could support 4K gaming. NVIDIA's 1.4 teraflop Tegra Xavier system on a chip might just get the job done. After rumors emerge about a Nintendo Switch successor set to take on PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X next year, a Bloomberg analyst claimed that the alleged Switch Pro will be powerful enough to support 4K gaming. That is a dubious claim because they do also go on to talk about basically the only processor that it could possibly use is the newest version of the Tegra chipset. That Tegra is what the Switch is based on now. So unless you're going to make a brand new Switch and make all your old games incompatible with the new one, it's going to be an upgraded Tegra processor. Tegra Xavier is the one that they're speculating. It's going to feature eight custom Carmel ARM cores, 512 CUDA core voltage GPU, and we're looking at 1.4 teraflops of compute performance. He goes on to say, 1.4 teraflops is slightly greater than the Xbox One's GPU compute performance. So we don't see an updated Switch Pro doing 4K in most AAA titles. Here's the reality. 1.4 teraflops for compute performance. Okay, how does that compare? Xbox One was about 1.31. Xbox One S was about 1.4. So we're basically looking at, hypothetically, a portable Xbox One S. The PS4 was about 1.84 teraflops. So this thing will be somewhere between the Xbox One S and the PlayStation 4. Ask yourself this, did you play any 4K titles on those two systems? What we're going to be looking at here, and I've said this in a couple of videos already, is more than likely NVIDIA's DLSS super sampling, deep learning super sampling, which is a way to upscale a lower image like 1080p up to 4K. I've said before, I'm not saying we're not going to see games at 4K on the Switch Pro, the Switch 2, the Switch Ear, I don't know what they're going to call it, but it's not going to be rendering games at 4K, it just isn't. 1.4 teraflops is, is not enough to just outright render games at 4K, 60 FPS, 30 FPS would be a real stretch. What we're going to get is games running at 1080p upscaled to 4K. Do I think it's possible for Nintendo to specifically make a game to run 4K to max out a Switch Pro with 1.4 teraflops of compute performance? It's entirely possible. Do I think that that's going to be easy or, and that we're going to be just playing all these games in 4K? No. I think what's going to happen is deep learning, super sampling on this upcoming Switch. So guys, that's all I've got for you on this one. I'll see you on the next video. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friends. If you enjoy my content, please consider becoming a Scary If Literal member. You'll get access to a whole bunch of emoticons to use with live streams and a shout out on an upcoming video. Thanks, as always, for your continued support.